Welcome back guys, this is Hobo's Hollow, a new map on Farming Simulator 22 released just today. So, for a change we're not starting out at a farmhouse, we're starting out at a fishing lake, as you can see here. And the scenery looks pretty great, there's even a barbecue right there, and there's a person just walking around there, that's fine. Uh, I love that actually, because in the base game people don't really tend to come over to those spots and especially don't go on to those platforms that run into the lake. So here is our farm and we have our base material as we have usual uh, but also a uh, lime spreader with that and some other stuff. I think all the other stuff is there usually but at least the lime spreader is usually not there so that's a nice addition. So this base farm has a nice wide uh, space so you have plenty of room to move around there's a campsite and we want to check that one out so here it is you can sell some stuff here as well let's hop over the fence and just see what it looks like so you go into the woods and here I see some wooden sheds popping up so what does it say it's a state preserve it Pres <coughs> that so um, yeah, just for day camping, I guess. Just having barbecues and come together with family and friends and have a great day. Just like you can do in regular national parks. So there's a bill sailing point here, farmer's market. Let's go check and see what that one looks like. Yeah, uh, just a basic shed with a very nice sign on the wall. And here is the bill selling point, obviously, because of all the hay and stuff that's laying around. And there's just some uh, RV home. There's another uh, farmer's market, a sawmill, and uh, this is what the sawmill looks like. Pretty decent, just basic, just regular, it works. And um, I do think that the detail details are all there, so that's uh, that's been taken care of. Here we have highway producers, an animal dealer, let's see what that one looks like. Yeah. Oh, Polly's Pigs, it's called. I love the name though. All these pigs, but those are animals are also available, so that's great. You can buy all your animals here, not just pigs. There in the back is the shop, as you could see, vehicle shop, and there's even people walking around here, which is also not the case in the base game. That's great. All right, so there we have some shops, and back at the farm we have a circle saloon. So let's see what that one looks like. Circle C, it is actually. Um, I was really expecting a old school style of saloon and it isn't. It's just super fancy modern restaurant. But that's okay. So we have a truck here. I had just missed that. And there's a grain station right there. There's plenty of fields on this map. There's like 57 fields. There's plenty of woods for the woodworking people around here. Um, yeah, it's just rural US, so there's all dirt roads around and some asphalt roads, but uh, well, it's very, very rural and I really like it. So uh, if you don't like too much traffic around and you would like to do some more rural stuff instead of um, in town farming, this will be a map that would be suitable for you, I guess. As you can see here, there's all sorts and sizes of fields. And the crop cal calendar has been um, updated. You can do two crops a year. And that might be a very special thing for this map. You can sow two and harvest one. Um, so yeah, you can, you can do a lot of uh, more of crop rotation in this map within a shorter period of time. All right, take care and enjoy this one. Bye bye.